The sun's coming out. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and vice pants. <laughs> What's up, everybody, on this rainy-ass day? Uh, it's Saturday. Pay-per-views tomorrow. Payback. I, I don't remember the last time pay-per-views were so close back-to-back. -back. I think we had them twice in a month, but they were, like, the two weeks apart. Uh, but, you know, we had one last week. We got one tomorrow. Whatever. I had, you know, I was going to do this earlier in the day, but I had a, I was watching the Yankee game, and I had to make sure that they were winning or that they win the game because they they were winning one nothing and they took uh, Hap out. Hap pitched a great game. We're not here to talk Yankees, uh, but Hap, Hap pitched a great game and uh, they took him out um, in the eighth. And uh, Adovino gov gives up a solo home run to tie it one to one. But um, they just won it on on they scored on a wild pitch uh, in the bottom of the ninth and bam that's a win scoreboard baby. All right so. I um I was looking up all the matches for like a full card like I like I usually do make sure I don't miss anything and I actually came up with eight matches that were listed on the interweb. Dave and the guys say there's only seven, so the one that stands out is Jeff Hardy defending his Intercontinental title against AJ Styles. That's the one that I had that they say isn't on the card. I'm just gonna say if it ends up being on the card, I'm going with Jeff Hardy because he just won it and there's no reason for for him to give it. Uh, to give it back right away. Uh, that sounds kind of crazy. Uh, but that's supposedly not on the card, so <laughs> so that's just, we're, we're just talking. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. It was announced a couple of weeks ago that at Payback, they were going to defend their tag titles, Sasha Banks and Bailey. Uh, it was yet to be determined against who, but they were defending it because, like, Somebody had had enough. And you know what? I mean, it, it's okay. I I don't understand why, like, the two of them have to hold all the titles. If that's the only story you have going right now, and that's what you're going to do to, you know, to get views on your show, because you're not selling tickets to your empty arena, then, okay, that's fine. You know, you've done crazier things. However, <laughs> however, if they're going to defend their tag titles against a tag team... Pick a tag team. Don't give me Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. You know they're not going to win this. They're going to get into each other's face. Sasha and Bailey, uh, you know, they're they're sticking together. And <laughs> I said something else a minute ago that I bleed, that I bleeped out, edited it out. Uh, they're sticking together. And, you know, they're going to come out on top. And, you know, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax may seem unbeatable, but they're not winning tonight. Sorry. Sasha Banks and Bailey keeping the titles. Keith Lee coming to Raw. Coming right out at Randy Orton. I love it. I'm picking Keith Lee on this. I uh, I can't I can't go against I like Randy Orton, don't get me wrong. I'm a big Randy Orton fan. He's he's it, his performance is almost it's so fluent. The way he moves in the ring and the move, the RKO out of nowhere, it's just magical. I said he's magical. That's right. I said it. I said what I said. Hold on. Kenny Omega was in the Thunderdome. We all saw that. The guys are late to the party sometimes. Uh, but I'm picking Keith Lee over this. Over over this Randy Orton match. Uh, Matt Riddle and King Corbin, finally. I mean, they've only been like, oh, feuding in the back room. I'm attacking your match. I'm attacking your match. And they don't fight. Now they fight. You know, they got King Corbin's got the King's Ransom and... Shorty G is in the is whatever fucking fight you know come on so I I like Matt Riddle on this I um I I feel you know what I like Matt Riddle on this but I'm picking look wow look at the sun kind I got a glare on my on my camera I don't know if you guys are gonna see it in the final cut but like this side up to like here is like regular view and then this side the sun shot give me the sun visor. I don't think this is going to make a difference. It makes no difference. All right. Hey, you know what? It's the sun. You can't block out the sun. We'll all die. Um, all right. So I was. I, I like Matt Riddle to win this, except I feel Shorty G is going to somehow interfere while the ref isn't looking or cause some, some stipulate. Not a stipulation, but he's going to do something to get King Corbin to win. And then there's going to be a feud going on. That's what I'm going to do. Change my mind. 
just like that. Apollo Crews is defending the U.S. title against Bobby Lashley. However, MVP and Benjamin Shelton are not banned from ringside this time. I like Apollo Crews, but I don't see how he's winning this. He's pretty good, but not against three big powerhouses like the three of them are. I don't care how old MVP is. He can still wrestle. I know I said differently last week. I know. I can change my mind. I can I can alter my opinion. Y'all don't got to get mad about it. Rey Mysterio and not his son, Dominic. The boy is too big. He's He can't be Rey Mysterio's son. I say this every time. Taking on Seth Rollins and Murphy tag match. I really hope this is the end of this feud because I have had it. It's boring. I fast forward right through it. I can't even be... I didn't even realize this was a match. I was writing everything down. I'm like, oh, they're fighting again. Whatever. Um, so, I feel Seth Rollins and Murphy are due a win here. I think uh, I think the Mysterios have been winning. And Seth Rollins and Murphy are just going to pull it off. Uh, what else? Um, is that seven already? No, I missed one. One, two, three. There you go. Uh, Big E taking on Sheamus in just a one-on-one match. Uh, all the action in the back room with... And in the ring with Retribution, you know, they're everywhere. Coincidentally, I will talk about that in the next in the next pick. Uh, Big E versus Sheamus. Uh, I want to give the win to Big E here. He's getting that singles push. You know, they're saying he's not a champion because he's too animated, too comical, not serious. You know what? Look at all the other champions in history. Look at Ravishing Rick Rude, the way he used to pick women out of the crowd and and sway his hips the same way Big E sways his hips before he drops the big move. Whatever. I mean, everybody, anybody who was a champion had some kind of animation to him. That's that's half of what puts them over in the last hundred years. Um, So I'm giving Big E the champ here. I'm uh, giving him, not the champ, I'm giving him the, the win Big E over Sheamus. Now, for the triple threat, The Fiend versus Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns, in a no hold barred, no hold, I, I missed the letter there, no holds barred match, you would think maybe Braun Strowman wrecks everybody, maybe The Fiend retains. However, Roman Reigns is hot. Wow, it's now, see, it's like really dark over here. What happens if I do this? And then there was light. All right. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, Roman Reigns, as I was saying, is hot on the return of coming back after taking a hiatus and surrendering his title because of the pandemic and his health and and all that. However, he comes back with a shirt that says, wreck everyone and leave. What does retribution do? Wrecks everyone and leaves. Wrecks everything and leaves. Remember when they took the ring apart that time? Hmm. Um... And then, you know, he uh, what's his name? Uh, Pierce there comes in. Adam P- Adam Pierce? I, I'm bad with names. I'm terrible with names. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, <laughs> he comes in the dressing room and he's like, Roman, I need you to sign this for the match. And Roman's like... I gotta, I gotta read this over. So he reads it over. And then they go back and he says... He says... He says the Brock Lesnar line. Is it Brock Lesnar or Paul Heyman's line? Where he's going to win, he's going to go to the pay-per-view, he's going to beat The Fiend, he's going to beat Braun Strowman, he's going to win the title back that he didn't really lose, he gave it up. And he says, that's not a prediction, that's a spoiler. Who says that? And then in the next scene, Paul Heyman says, you can believe that. (laughs) Well, I guess Roman Reigns is winning, because if you put Paul Heyman in Roman Reigns' corner... That seems pretty unbeatable. So I guess Roman Reigns is getting the title back. That's my pick. Uh, You could say I'm wrong. Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. I don't even care because you know I'm not wrong. You know I'm right. And that's kind of, everybody's going to be like, oh my God, they gave it back to Roman Reigns. Whatever. He's back. He had the championship. He didn't really lose it. He had to give it up. He's back. Not that he should get it back, but he's going to fight. And then he puts his... He puts the best possible ally in his corner in Paul Heyman. The boy wins. What happens to Brock Lesnar when he comes back with Paul Heyman? He wins, right? Right? We all hate it. 
we, we all laugh about Su- Suplex City. We all hate that he's only wrestling like three, four times a year, whereas everybody else is on Raw and SmackDown every week. But that's not going to be Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is going to be there every week. He's going to defend that title. And it's going to be the better part of what we wanted out of a Paul Heyman's guy, a Heyman hustle guy, because that's, you know, that's his Twitter. Um, I I kind of like it. And, and, and... What about that T-shirt that he's wearing? The wreck everyone and leave. And that's what Retribution is doing. What if this is going to be... Every once in a while, we get like that unknown team that comes out of nowhere. Look at all the guys we got out of the Nexus. Look at... Who remembers the NWO, right? So what if this... What if this is... I remember watching the NWO and uh, in WCW. I was watching every week. And every week, they would almost like every week introduce like... Oh my God, so-and-so just turned and joined the NWO. What if they start revealing some of the people who are in Retribution and Roman Reigns is not only part of it, but leading it? (laughs) Who's dead right now? Who's dead? All right. Uh, One last thing before I wrap this up. How about that little backstage clip with Nikki Cross and Tamina and how's Alexa Bliss doing? And then she comes in with her pigtails. I love the pigtails. Oh my God. But did you see the look in her eye when she yelled at Nikki Cross and smashed the cup on the floor and gave her the eye? Oh, I like this Alexa Bliss. We got a good story going here. I can't wait to see what they do with it next week. Because, you know, Mean Bliss was was the good bliss. (laughs) I love it. I approve. Two thumbs up. Siskel and Ebert. That's all I got for picks. Leave all your picks in the comments. I want to know. I th- I'm pretty sure it's like 95% we're all hanging out tomorrow night to watch the pay-per-view at uh, Rod or Todd's because I can't tell them apart um, after all these years. <laughs> None of us can. <laughs>